Week 34 Day 1 Another Plan Robert was far from tranquil as he waited in the lobby for almost an hour after the performance had begun. Disgruntled, he quit the sight of his vigil. He had to face the fact that he was making no tangible progress. Tomorrow he would telephone several women's residences. It was a cumbersome way of going about the hunt, but it was all that he could think of at the moment. He would interrogate the desk clerks, and perhaps he might uncover a pertinent clue to Evelyn's whereabouts. If he could only get someone to divulge her hiding place, perhaps tomorrow would culminate in success. Sample Sentences 1. With rancor he faced the cumbersome job of transporting the voluminous records to his new office. 2. Before they began to interrogate the criminal, they had to admonish him that his testimony might be used to incarcerate him. 3. The hunter maintained a discreet and wary vigil as he waited for the propitious moment to bag his quarry. 4. Even under duress, he was adamant and would not divulge the secret. 5. The newly married couple selected the site for their new home with meticulous care. Week 34 Day 2 A hope dashed. The next day, Wednesday, saw Robert become more frustrated. He would fluctuate between high hopes of finding Evelyn and unmitigated despair, when he was almost ready to desist in his search. The phone calls had elicited almost nothing. Robert had rushed to one women's residence when the clerk described a girl who might just be Evelyn. The desk clerk phoned to her room on the pretext that she had a special delivery letter. Robert waited in the commodious lobby, replete with large, antiquated pieces of furniture. He watched from a discreet distance as she came down the stairs. One look at her wan face, slovenly dress, and disheveled hair was enough to inform Robert that he needed no further scrutiny. This could not be his impeccable Evelyn. Sample Sentences 1. He wasn't exactly an unmitigated liar, he merely embellished the truth a little. 2. In his sumptuous house he had a commodious den in which he kept an array of trophies as incontrovertible evidence of his skill. 3. Is it banal to say that good manners are antiquated in our milieu? 4. The current trend in the stock market is for stocks to fluctuate in a sporadic fashion. 5. The nondescript, indolent beggar was in a disheveled condition. Week 34 Day 3 To the police. Thursday was his next to last day. He had been tenacious in following up every lead. Now he was behind the eight ball. He could hardly galvanize himself to do anything else. The facade of hope he had worn for almost a week was crumbling. There was nothing left to be sanguine about. In desperation he turned to the police and placed his problem within their jurisdiction. They asked many questions, and they requested that he not expurgate anything. Some of the questions seemed asinine. When they inquired about his relationship to the missing girl, he replied, with a grimace, fiancé. When they suggested she might be hiding in that part of the city where the punk coterie congregated, he was incredulous and accused the police of calumny against her good name and reputation. Sample Sentences 1. He held on to his antiquated beliefs with a tenacious obsession. 2. The woman was noted for her vituperative calumny against her innocuous, although senile, neighbor. 3. She could not abjure a grimace when she saw the disheveled figure. 4. How asinine of the boy to fabricate that bizarre story. 5. His face wore the most doleful facade. Week 34 Day 4 Evelyn discovered. Failure was imminent, and Robert was bereft of hope. It was now Friday. Despite his abstemious and parsimonious way of living, his money had been reduced to a mere pittance. A perverse impulse brought him to the section where young people in strange clothing and with uncouth manners made him recoil in unmitigated disgust. He had never been au current with the hippies and punks. He was always fastidious about proper dress and behavior. A moment later he saw her. Evelyn. She was sitting at a table in a coffee shop, surrounded by a coterie of the most noisome individuals he had ever seen. Evelyn was not incongruous, for she herself was unkempt. So this was her new habitat. At that instant Robert knew as an incontrovertible fact that he had lost her. 
With a grimace, he turned and walked, a doleful and melancholy figure, toward the bus depot and home. Sample sentences. 1. Styles are such transient things that what is occurrent today, is archaic tomorrow. 2. The tip he had been offered was a mere pittance, and the taxi driver threw it on the ground in disdain. 3. Children think mothers are asinine to get upset about unkempt rooms. 4. It was inevitable that they discover the hidden body by its noisome aroma. 5. He was so fastidious about table manners that he lost his equanimity when his son reached for the bread. 